Hey guys, welcome to Spiral Box 346. And in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I created and designed this piece in acrylic and turned it into a wind spinner. But I love it. So guys, if you're interested, stay tuned. Let's get started. Hey guys, how are we all doing today? So in today's video, about a year, a little over a year ago, I ended up seeing a video of a lady that did a wind spinner out of acrylic and i'll post her video below but i thought it was amazing because she created it from scratch and then she did her own wind spinner so we're gonna come here and we are going to try to test it out so i think i might want to bring in a shape so let me find a shape i'm gonna do a star So I want to start off with the star being smaller, like about two inches. And then I want to come here and I want to do an offset of a quarter, one eighth of an inch. And I want to do an offset. And the offset, I want to go down to a point two, zero, And I'm going to click Apply. And then I'm going to change the color so you guys can see it. And now I'm going to go back. And I'm going to click another shadow. And I'm going to go down to point, point four five, And I'm going to Apply. And there goes the other one. Then we want to do this again. Let me fill in this color so you guys can see. And now I'm going to press offset again. And then I'm going to go back down to 2.0. And I'm going to apply. I'm going to add that color. And then I'm going to keep on repeating. And this is a 4.5. And then I'm going to color. I'm going to do an offset again. Uh, 2.0. And then I'm going to apply. Change that to blue. And I'm going to keep on doing this multiple times until I get the amount of spinners that I want. The inside is going to be two inches. So I think it looks big right now, but it's not because if I back out of it, it's actually a really small piece. So I'm going to keep on adding offsets and then I'll show you after I'm done so we made it to four inches so now what we want to do is take all of the images and I think they end up making a bar I'm going to do half an inch. Okay. Then I'm going to bring this. Right here in the middle. Let me bring you guys a little closer. And I think that's too wide. And now you want to grab all of it. And now...
I'm going to go to modify okay so with this bar right here I'm gonna make it much thinner so let me click on it and make it much thinner because you don't want this to show too much okay so that looks good right there so now let's take this let's weld it first right okay so we got it welded and now so I was trying to delete this middle bar in the middle and I'm not seeing how okay I'm gonna use the knife feature okay so I got that piece let me bring this in a little bit wider I couldn't figure it out any other way but I did it this way and it still worked and there goes my wind spinner I need to make a hole so I can hang it up let me attach this and put this in the middle make compound pass okay so now that we got that done let's turn all of our colors pink there goes my shape and now I'm gonna go to save this as an SVG onto my hard drive let's save it so now I'm gonna come out of here And now I'm going to import it, wind spinner, and I'm going to upload it. And it's going to process. Okay, so I got my acrylic piece down, and I might want to make it just a tad bit bigger. Okay, so now the size is 4.76 by 5.5. And, and now I'm going to come over here and press. Scan. And then I'm going to take it to the GoForge. So, I'll see you there. Okay guys, so I'm here at my GlowForge. As you can see, I was testing. And now I'm going to press the button and we're going to cut our wind spinner out. So, let's press. I'll be back when it's almost done. Okay guys. It's all done. Gonna let it cool down and I'll meet you back at the table. Okay, guys, so here goes my cut. And I think I cut it too small. So I'm just making sure. Okay, so I'm gonna change my blade. Don't do what I just did. Make sure you take your plastic cover off. Of the acrylic before you cut it. This is, <laughs> I think the third time I forget that. So right now I'm trying to remove the plastic. And as you can see, this side is dull and this side is shiny. And then we have to take these small little pieces out so you can start seeing the wind chime or the wind spinner. 
See how thin it is? Okay, so I pretty much got all the plastic off and now I am starting to take off all these thin pieces that I cut in between the layers. Okay guys, so I took all the masking tape off and the adhesive. Now guys, definitely take the adhesive off before you do this so you don't have to wait and peel all that off. And then in the midst of me peeling that off, I broke a couple of bars but I'm still gonna test it out and try it so I have a heat gun right here and I let that heat up really good and I'm gonna see if we can mold this into a spinner now I think I'm gonna do this again but I'm gonna make it much bigger and the the lines much much bigger sometimes when you're designing it looks big on the thing, and then when you cut it out, it's a different story. Okay, so in order for you to bend this, you want to just heat the middle of the, uh, the shape. Just the middle where you have your bar for your hang up. So, let me do that. Okay, that's kind of hot. Let me put some heat gloves on. Okay, so I got my Cricut mat, and now we are going to just heat just the middle. Okay, so now you want to take it, and now it's pliable, so now you want to go and do your shape. So, guys, I made me a 3D wind spinner out of acrylic now it's not the best you have to test out the material now i will make this again but i will make it bigger so i like the technique that i use i have to figure out how i can remove that inner but anyway let me put a string on and let's see how it looks And now we are going to close this up. Okay, so. So of course, this is not the right thing to put on. You need just a chain and you need a longer chain so it could just keep on twirling. But guys, <laughs> I made an acrylic wind spinner. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I really hope you try your hands on it. Just be careful. Now, if I would have took my masking tape off and the plastic clear cover, I don't think I would have had an issue breaking the pieces. But then again, they probably, they probably broke because I made them too small. I was just testing it out. I didn't want to use a big piece of acrylic if it wasn't going to come out right. But now that I know that it works, I'm going to redo the whole design and I will make it much bigger. So guys, there you go. Until next time, you guys stay blessed. Bye now. Now they be having some deco.
Deco Pattern Acrylic. This company that I buy acrylic from. And I now I can't wait to go buy some. So guys, bye.